right guys I'm in the garage again I just before I threw my uh, my truck together with these awesome 7075 m2c racing stuff I just wanted to give you guys a quick shot of the chassis unmounted so this is the chassis of course it hasn't been uh, tumbled yet so it'll look a lot cleaner when it's ready for production but you'll see Mitch spent a ton of time with a, just a brilliant brilliant design uh, this center plate the chassis is four millimeters thick as well as these uh, support plates here both here and up the center so he engineered this to essentially function just like the stock chassis but obviously this will be much more durable overall and then what's really trick is he's got these different these different stiffening bars these are the six millimeter here so you can either use six or you can use nine millimeter and with a nine millimeter you put the total thickness between this piece the chassis and there at like 17 millimeters so it's really ingenious i like having some flex a little bit more flex in my my rig so i'm going to go ahead and test this with the six millimeter option these bolt from underneath with lock nuts on top and here's a quick shot of a sample motor mount this is also 7075 and this is just a rough mount and it's going to need to be tumbled as well but uh definitely feels awesome in the hand and what's what's super exciting about this option is it allows for these beefier sliders that he machined so this is a 5687 hobby wing 1100 kv that's been sitting on my bench for probably at least three weeks now i've just been jonesing to mount this thing but as many of you know the mounting span the spanning holes in the end bell are bigger on these larger fifth scales so now you've got the option to use either one of these beefcake wands for guys that want to run the stock motor you've also got an option to use this plate right here so this slider here's a quick shot of the underside of the chassis i've already put a couple scratches on it just tossing it around on it's the all done with my chassis swap this went super simple because this rig's just so modular so you'll see i got my beefcake motor in here i'm going to go ahead and just try it with the stock esc just for the heck of it and if i need to i'm going to go ahead and put in that max 5 in the back over there just going to give you guys a quick shot of the chassis here so here's a shot from underneath again this hasn't been tumbled or anodized this is just a raw look and i absolutely love it Two, three. <laughs> well even with the stock esc it feels good guys well it's still been raining a ton here we got more rain on the way but you'll see all the mud and puddles the dirt tracks are all pretty much shut down so I'm just gonna make the most of this it looks like somebody's been four-wheeling out here so there's some pretty deep ruts so I did a little bit of reinforcing just with uh, several layers of Gorilla Tape and then I also ended up just putting a little uh, little felt pad up here the self-adhesive pad only because I noticed when the lids on there's like a little bit of kind of slop right there so anyway that's just to kind of take away some of the tinging sound and take some of the stress off from the front of the truck Oh. All right, guys, I just noticed I'm three wheel drive. That's a slight problem. I did forget to mention, um, I did actually find a breakage, and this pin here. Half, half of my uh, dr out drive cup pin on the dog bone, half of the pin had busted. And uh, in any case, it, um, it was hanging in with only half a pin just because it's, su it's such a nice fit between the ball and the cup. Um, so anyway, hopefully I have a new one uh, arriving at my house here shortly. But anyway, that's officially my first breakage on this truck other than an ESC fan. So this thing's been ultra durable for me. Sorry for such a short video, guys, but I'm not gonna keep driving three wheel drive um, and break something else. I've so. got my Max 5 installed the soldering was really a pain in the ass i'm just not used to soldering the ec5 with these uh, bigger 
wires but uh, anyway I got my 5687 in here still and uh, I'm waiting for a bigger pinion right now I got a 25T I ordered a 27 and a 29 because the temps were absolutely fine on the motor with the stock ESC so stock tires are back on I'm just going to give this a quick rip. Oh, <laughs> didn't think I had the flip. Oh, damn, guys, right on a concrete uh, slab right there. Dang guys, that's why I need that bigger pinion. I just did not have the wheel spin. And with these lighter wheels, you definitely don't have, don't have quite the mass, about a pound and a half lighter than the dirt tracks. <laughs> Was a sideways lander. Another ramp slicer. Well, that was gnarly, guys. I landed right on this sharp concrete edge. It's still straight, guys. It's friggin' just absolutely amazing. So, huge shout out to Mitch Looper with M2C Racing. All right, guys, this thing's a complete beast. Huge shout out to Mitch Looper with M2C Racing. This chassis and the motor mount is just a complete game changer. So looking nice and straight to me. Uh, so anyway, and also huge shout out to Arma for the, the killer engineering with this rig. All right, guys, Merry Christmas. Late.